today we will be discussing how to jam any Wi-Fi network using only your Android cell phone or tablet, or pretty much any Android device. Okay, so first things first. Obviously you need your Android device to perform this. It could be a phone, a tablet, or maybe you found some other cool new device that has Android on it. And it needs to be able to use Wi-Fi. Next, you obviously need a network that you're going to jam. I personally prefer Apple stores and Starbucks because Apple is just evil. And Starbucks, it's just funny to watch everybody walk out. The next thing you're going to need is a program for your phone called My IP. It's a free Android app from Radensoft. Get it from the market. Easy to find. This does not require a rooted phone, so all of you that can't root your devices or have one that is locked, don't worry, won't affect you. So basically, in a nutshell, what we're going to do is exploit TCP IP on the Wi-Fi network to create a duplicate default gateway address. Now, on a normal Wi-Fi network that uses the 192.168.0.1 address, that is the actual gateway address, or the internal address of the wireless router that hosts the Wi-Fi network. So, by setting our device, or Android device, to use this same address, and because Android devices are notorious for spamming up the network with all their little communications, ARP will rank it higher than the, mo than the router itself, and pretty much all traffic targeted at 0.1, like internet traffic for example, will get bounced to your phone which will just harmlessly black hole it and you won't see any effect to it. Now be warned, this can also jam wired networks if the Wi-Fi is on the same network without any kind of separation. So if you jam a network on the 0.1 domain, you will also be jamming any wired devices connected to the same collision domain, the same router. A lot of routers host the wireless and the wired on the same network. So by trying to jam the Wi-Fi, you may accidentally also jam wired traffic. So this is probably something you don't want to go around bragging about, especially if you happen to jam a business network by accident. For this little experiment, I will use two Android devices. The first, a Sprint HTC Evo 4G, not the Shift version. It is rooted, although that is not required. It is my personal phone. And the second device is a HeroTab M10 Android tablet. It runs the Cortex A8 processor. You can get one online for around 270 at merrymobiles.com, that's M-E-R-I mobiles.com very nice tablet, very fast, easy to root and it comes with the Android market. It also just happens to use most iPad accessories and cases. So we are gonna skip the part about the My IP app and we're going to assume that your network uses 192.168.0.1 for the Wi-Fi router or access point. If your network does not use this address, jamming will not work unless you use the correct address. Use the My IP app to find out what network you're on and then usually if you just take the internal IP address it gives you and change the last digit to a 1, you're usually set. So on your Android device, go to Settings, Wireless, turn on your Wi-Fi, and then go to Wi-Fi Settings, tap your little menu button, and click Advanced. Now go ahead and check the Use Static IP checkbox, and you want to set your IP address to the address you believe the gateway is operating on. You want to set your gateway address 
to pretty much the same number but change the last number to pretty much any number within 0 to 255. Doesn't really matter what you set it to. Your net mask should be 255.255.255.0 unless the My IP app indicates otherwise. Your DNS you don't have to fill out but I always put in 4.2.2.1 for the first DNS and leave the second blank. So if your router is operating on 192.168.0.1, that is the address you should put in for the IP address. And the gateway should be the same number, but changing the 1 to a 2 or a 3 or any number. Now go ahead and press your back button twice to go back to the wireless menu. Turn off your Wi-Fi, and then turn it back on. And now if you connect to the network that you've set your settings for it will be jammed within five to ten seconds of you actually getting on the network this includes wired and wireless devices alike if you perform this on your home network I suggest you set up a ping minus T to google.com or any other internet site and upon using your jamming ability on your Android device you'll suddenly notice the pings will start to time out. This is because the traffic is being redirected from the internet gateway to your phone, which everything now believes is the internet gateway. Because the Android draws so much internet traffic and broadcasts so much gibberish onto the network, it takes a higher priority than the actual router, which only talks when it's being talked to. So the switching capability in the router and ARP will place your phone as the gateway instead of the router itself. This is because most Wi-Fi routers, the wireless portion is actually still attached to the switch built into the router and is not directly connected to the router itself. So any device on the switch portion of the router which has high traffic is going to take the highest priority in ARP.